I hope this actually works fairly decently well. It, I, it seemed to work okay when I was testing, but we'll see how well it actually goes in, in real time. And also, I'm going to be doing one more thing. I'm going to be doing one more thing here. I'm not going to break this. I will intentionally not break this. I will, however, just try to generate some cards off the bat, but I will not break this. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why once we get there. Now for the hard part, surviving three turns. You know, that's actually working a lot better than I expected. Considering I didn't have um, certain key cards at the start here. Okay, who wants to be the hero? Tipperif, how about you be it? No, 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 we'll, we'll have, um, we'll have Ray be <laughs> Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. This is actually working out a lot better than I expected it to. Okay, so I'm guessing... So I didn't notice this before, but this little thing over here it is the thing that says who she's going to target for her attack. Which I was kind of confused at the first time why she, she was attacking the same one twice. But, now that I know... Okay, there's one. Okay. Okay, there's the help. There's the help. Alright, there we go. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. It's fine, we're good. We're good. We're not gonna die. This is all going according to plan. She's gonna stun herself, you see that? She just stunned herself. And now let me show you why. I did I decided not to break that um to break her at, at the first turn. So the reason why I didn't break her at the first turn is because when she's in, when she's in her normal magical growth form, you can't bring her down past fifty percent. But if you force her into uh, the King of Greed form, she can go below fifty percent. And this is where we just totally, absolutely dunk on her. Quite possibly, <clears throat> one hundred fifty-four HP. This is where we finish her. This is the reason why I didn't break it. This is the reason why I didn't break it. Otherwise, you would have to go through a second phase, uh, two phases of uh, her, and then uh, it would not be this easy. <laughs> it would not be this easy. So we have a so we have a regular him deck with all the slash and dice here. The only thing with this deck is I'm not using any bleed cards because I think for the most part the bleed cards, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of the slash bleed cards. That's the thing, because him uses a lot of uh, slash, uh, a lot of slash um, damage, right? So a lot of the slash bleed cards I probably will not use. Though I think fresh fillet is kind of tempting. Though I kind of also want to use slay because you do get that chance for the plus one strength and plus one light. So. Um, I, I kind of want to use Sky Clearing Cut, but the thing is, you do have a very low dice roll on that first attack, so I'm 
second die for the second dice roll is good, but you will lose the first dice roll, which I am not a fan of. I'd rather I'd rather what do you call this? Be a little bit more even with my cards here. So anyway, Kim the nothing too fancy though I am focusing a little bit on the bleed stacks. Apparently the Kim deck already has um, bleed on slash attack, so that's that's good. The only problem with the Kim deck is I think we can only put like up to four passives, which isn't much. Let's be honest, it's not much and I can't really put any HP regeneration here without feeling like I wasted my slots for the most part. So in the to fill up the six, the six point six cost, uh, I did this Grace of the Precip Prescript um, passive for the plus two. It's a random plus two, but I'll take it over Corpse Cleanup, which we may which may or may not even trigger for the most part. So I'll I'll take it for the for the moment. And then Emma Emma deck is fairly standard for the most part, except I think I replaced um, I think I replaced a blunt some blunt cards here i think i i replaced creek with trace of fumes which you know it seems to perform mostly similar for eight three seven three five five eight three seven four six so it's a little bit better uh raw numbers wise for the first and third hit but you do get a little bit of smoke in there so if it does if smoke if it does hit you get smoke so um you know what? I'll I'll do I'll take the five percent damage per smoke and see where that takes us. For the most part, and passive-wise, nothing too fancy. A lot of focus on blunt damage and stagger. Uh, I wanted to add some bleed into here, but I couldn't find the space uh, because I do want some HP and uh, stagger. With HP and stagger uh, heal from from that tax. So here's where it gets a little bit interesting as far as the decks I, I, I've come up with. So here we're using Oscar's page and I noticed I noticed that the um, that the singleton cards have a lot of pierce in them. So pair that with the Oscar page we have a singleton pierce deck. For, and the page generation for this is actually really, really good. So we, we can only have one overcome crisis, but that's fine. Because Will of the Prescript here has three draw pages. So it's like, I feel like even at a three cost, that's a really, really good, um, that's a good, what do you call it? That's a good uh, compromise to have. And I do have quite a bit of three cost cards here because I'm, um, for the most part, I am confident that I'm not gonna. My pages early on are not gonna get clogged up by three cost cards, and I won't be able to use it and because of the this uh, three draw, uh, draw page. Now, as far as light generation is concerned, I do have extract fuel and collision. The only thing with collision is it just refunds itself back on clashes. Uh, but if I use this on one sided, it's not going to refund it back. Which you know, I'm fine given the circumstances. The main reason though I want to use Oscar is so that I can fully use this uh, paralysis card, Sweep the Battle Streets. Now I think my initial build had two paralysis cards, one from the from the uh, cyborgs um, and which had like paralysis on hit for two of them, but I think this might be a little bit more consistent. Maybe. Well, I think I, I think I mainly went with this one because it does have like three dice and it's a little bit more flexible that way. And family is here because um, bleed, bleed. I, I need a little bit. I need a little bit more bleed stack, so bleed. But yeah, uh, Singleton Pierce deck using Oscar. Nothing too fancy though. But I do have high le level acrobatics here for the plus one dice roll. And most of the usual stuff, uh, Pierce Stagger and Healing for the last deck. We, I, we needed a little bit more of passive um, damage, and as much as I would like to keep the bleed on, I think Fire Burns work decently well. The only issue with this 
is that there's not that many three hit cards that are good um, roll wise. Like if you look at the if you look at the options for burn cards that have three hits, this is not that great. You have two really low rolls on the first and uh, third hit, so that's not going to go anywhere. Even if you do get the clash win on the evasion, it's still it's still a six six, which is not great at this part of the game. It's better as an off hit. It's better as an off hit. Uh, Flash of Sun up one five one four one six. I don't really feel comfortable using that because it's the, the range is so big and it's also fairly low rolls for this for this part of the game. Sunset Blade would have been nice if it at least rolled a three with those with those upper ranges. I would have been fine using this, but it starts at one. It has one is one six one five. Like holy crap, why is it so low? So I'm not using those. I'm not using those. So this build is gonna look a little jank even for my taste. Um, but Searing Sword, I think for the most part, I'm gonna be probably using this as a, as a one-sided attack. Or if I can actually, feel, if I feel like I have no choice but to counter with this, and I will counter with this. The main thing here is Feather Shield. This is more. This is more, mostly a defensive deck, despite all the burns I'm planning into here. And this is where for, Forceful Gesture is. <laughs> Does it weird, look weird to have Forceful Gesture here? Probably does. It probably does. But I need another card with a um, a draw one page, and this fits the bill. Crack of Dawn does not fit fit the bill. It's strong, but it doesn't draw a card. And plus, uh, Forceful Gesture does have a added benefit of the Feeble Disarm and Bind on hit. Which, you know, it just has to hit, and we can hit do a one-sided for that. Anyway, that's why I'm gonna go with. I would have used Salvador also, uh, but I think for the most part, I basically rolled Salvador's page in, into into Philip's page. So we got um, we got all the usual burn stuff, but I also added the plus one defense die because I think it's going to help um, a little bit. And Calmness because I got nothing else I could put in there. I'll be honest. This was like a last I was out of ideas, so I just put sand space there I just put sand space there Anyway, that's what we're gonna go with and we're gonna go ahead with King of Greed 